Hello there. I'm George Putnam. I'd like to begin with a fact. A simple yet shocking fact. It is this. A flood tide of filth is engulfing our country in the form of newsstand obscenity and is threatening to pervert an entire generation of our American children. We know that once a person is perverted, it is practically impossible for that person to adjust to normal attitudes in regard to sex. Yet much of this material has been described as an illustrated, detailed course in perversion. Abnormal sex, crime, and violence. It is also a fact that no matter who buys this material, 75 to 90 percent of it ends up in the hands of our children. Now, you might ask yourself, why this sudden concern? Pornography and sex deviation have always been with mankind. This is true. But now, consider another fact. Never in the history of the world have the merchants of obscenity, the teachers of unnatural sex acts, had available to them the modern facilities for disseminating this filth. High-speed presses, rapid transportation, mass distribution, all have combined to put the vilest obscenity within reach of every man, woman, and child in the country. In the past few years, this obscenity traffic and salacious newsstand literature have become increasingly worse, not only in content, but in volume. This traffic continues to increase and flourish for one reason. It is big business, profitable business, for the mercenary persons who produce it, and for it more than 800 distributors. The United States Supreme Court has described it as dirt for dirt's sake. We describe it as dirt for money's sake. Obscene literature is a two billion dollar a year business. That's two billion dollars. Through this material, today's youth can be stimulated to sexual activity for which he has no legitimate outlet. He is even enticed to enter the world of homosexuals, lesbians, sadists, masochists, and other sex deviants. The psychiatric terms for these unnatural sex acts are unknown to most decent adults in our country. But through this salacious material, these abnormalities are corrupting the minds and the hearts of our children. Perversion for profit. 